Hello, out of obedience, because it's really been in my spirit for the last couple of days, and I don't like going live. I've been in a lot of pain, and I've been going through a lot. So, but here, out of obedience, because God keeps laying it on my heart. Listen, God promised you a house, but you're not in position. So, if you're God promised you a car, God promised you a house, it is the last quarter of 2021. We're getting ready to go into 2022. You have to get your finances in alignment to receive the promises of God. That means he said he promised you a house, but your credit ain't right. You got to get in alignment with what God is telling you to do. God promised you a car, but your credit ain't in alignment. Yes, he could do a supernatural work, but God ain't gonna give you something that you cannot afford. And he's not gonna give you something you're not prepared for. So therefore, it's the last quarter of 2021. We're going into 2022. Get your credit right. You're in the last three months of this year. Stop looking at it as if we're coming into Thanksgiving. We're looking at Christmas. We're gonna go into debt. No, I'm challenging you to do the opposite. Do the opposite. This is the last quarter. Get your finances in order. You want to receive the promise of your house. You want to receive the promise of your car. Get your credit in order. Get your debt in alignment. Pay off your bills. Pay your bills on time. Let's work on your credit so that when the time of your promise comes, you driving through that neighborhood looking at that house that you said God promised you, your credit got to be in alignment when that house comes available. You cannot get what God promised you if you're not in alignment with his word and you're not a good steward over what he has already given you. So get in alignment. Let's get your credit straight. Let's work on paying off this debt and save some money. If you're if you're wanting to invest, let's sit down and walk through your budget to find out where we can free up some money for you to invest. Let's sit down and look at your credit to get your credit in alignment so that you can get that house, get that car. God is not going to promise you something that you're not ready for. So if the word was released, that was for you on a prophetic release to get yourself in alignment with the word. Get yourself in alignment as a good steward to receive the promise of God. If you're not walking in his word, and you're not doing what you're supposed to do with your finances, don't expect the promise. You got to do the work.